Hey guys, it's Scott and Ellie, and today it's a daddy and daughter day, right? Say hi. Hi. And we're going to Smiling Hill Farm. Hey guys, we just arrived at Smiling Hill Farm and it's still a hot day, it's, it's sunny out, so we need to apply our sunblock. So I know it was kind of a tease for you guys who saw me do the weigh-in at the end of the last video and then you got the to be continued, so my apology, I was just having a little bit of fun with you guys and I promise you that at the end of this video you're going to actually see that clip and my weight will be revealed. Um, I will tell you that already over the last couple of days I've been eating a lot healthier and I've been trying to stay a little more active even today with Ellie and I going to Smiling Hill Farm. We're going to be doing some walking around on the trails out here and it's going to be fun too. They have like a little petting zoo and things so it'll be fun to kind of see how Ellie interacts with the animals. Okay Ellie we have made it into the Smiling Hill Farm barnyard and there's so many different places to go. I don't even know where we're supposed to start. Let's go start where all of they are. Alright, so Ellie and I are hanging out with the goats first. I wonder if we'll see any screaming goats. Screaming goats. Ellie, who's this? Hey there, buddy. Ellie is far more interested in the other children who are here. Look at that little guy. He has a slide. I've never seen a goat go down a slide. That would be pretty cool. These guys have a whole playground. Look, they've got tires to play on. This guy, he's just hanging out in the playground. He's too cool. Ellie, that's a slide you would want to go down. Oh, look, and there's a goat at the top of the slide just hanging out. You know, there's always that kid on the playground who just has to sit at the top of the slide and not let anybody else go down. Awesome, we got some goats to come over and say hi to us. Hi there, buddy. Hey, what's your name? Daddy found the chicken. Oh, look, this one's talking in some sort of weird voice. He's an alien goat. Oh, I got breakfast stuck in Ellie's hair. And just so people know, no, I'm not letting Ellie put her hands in the cage when the goats come over. What do you think about the goats, Ellie? Okay, come here. We just don't want to put our hands on the cage when they're over here because the sign tells us that they're still they're still farm animals and they're they may possibly bite our fingers especially these ones because they think that we probably are going to feed them because over to our left is a uh, is a coin op food machine for the goats so people can feed them Fun. Farmer Ellie. We've arrived at the Prairie Dogs. And here we have Bubbles, Blossom, and Buttercup. They sound more like flavors of ice cream. Actually, they don't sound like ice cream at all. Who eats Bubbles ice cream? Or Blossom ice cream? I wonder which one that one is. So 
So out of all the animals that are here, the one thing I'm noticing is that Ellie prefers the other children and the tractors. Oh, we have a guinea fowl. It's a guinea fowl. Hey guys. What do you think, Ellie? So Ellie and I have talked about the story of the three little pigs before, but we've never had a chance to meet them in person. And they, their names are Susie, Bucky, and Mabel. And I wonder who this one is. Hi. Ellie's gripping me even harder right now. She's like, what is that thing? What is that thing? One's asleep. Hey there, buddy. Pigs only. Even though all this food kind of looks the same. This one's got a very wrinkled face. So I think Ellie finds the pigs to be a little scary because ever since we came over, she's been grabbing at me, but now she's getting brave. All right, Ellie. We can't put our fingers in there because the sign says we can't. Because the pigs might think you're some slop. Okay, everybody meet Wilson. Wilson was just born on May 14th of, of this year, yeah. Hi, Wilson. Let's get down and see what Wilson's doing. Hey, Wilson. Wilson's too busy pulling on the string. I think he's making a break. All right, Ellie and I are about to go and check out the baby chicks. This should be pretty cool. The sign on here said the hatching house. Oh, look, Ellie. So all of these animals around us, and the only thing that Ellie has been really wanting to do is just to get down and push her own stroller. But, you know, she is 14 months old. So you win some, you lose some. Hey there. Ellie, I want you to meet our first llama. Hello. Hey, you look pretty lovable. Uh, there we go. Take a selfie with a llama. So we're in the petting zoo. And Ellie has already started doing her Baba black sheep. Even though we don't have a black sheep. Baba. Hey, Ellie, come here. Let's meet this guy. Hey, buddy. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hi, buddy. Hello. Hi. That's nice. You can come pet him, Ellie. Hi. 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 
He really wants to get this one's attention. He looks like he's just sleeping, Ellie. He's relaxing. But you can pet him. You're okay. See? Yeah. Ellie's a little nervous of this one. See, he's friendly, Ellie. What's your name? Yeah. You're like, no. Okay. We weren't quite ready for that one yet. Look, there's a little goat over there. <laughs> it's so funny, Ellie is very social with the animals, but then if they get a little too close, she gets a little nervous. <laughs> Oops. Here, you can get back up. Tripping over Daddy's big feet again. Okay, come on. Where are we going next? Yeah. Waving hello. Hi. Tell him hi. Hi. Are you going to go pet him? She always gets so close. You found a rock, huh? You can pet the goat. No, no, no. Huh? Hi there, buddy. They're all coming over to see you, Ellie. Oh, I know. She's so excited she can barely contain herself. You know, there's a whole lot of poop on the ground. I'm really glad that Ellie's not. Going, hey, I want to pick this up. But I guess that comes with the territory if you're gonna. You're going to Smiling Hill Farm. Ellie, smile! Can you go back in? Say cheese! Cheese! And like a good spoiling dad does, every time you take a child for the first time to Smiling Hill Farm, it is customary to buy them a Smiling Hill Farm toy. Well, that does it for this trip, guys. I'm not sure how much of the video I'll end up keeping. We actually had a really good time, but it just it was a lot of just kind of quiet, walking around, looking at the animals. But I'll probably still put most of it up on YouTube. Um, hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Ellie, it was her first trip and her first time seeing a lot of those animals. So um, she was a little hesitant at first. It took her a while to kind of warm up. Um, and then it, she got really warmed up by the time we hit the petting zoo. And she was running up to all the animals. Hi, hi, you know. But if they got a little too close, there was one goat that rubbed up on Ellie and she started freaking out a little bit. Not bad, but she was just like, no, no, no. You could tell she was nervous and she kept grabbing my leg. It was cute. Um, so I thought she handled herself pretty well for her first time at Smiling Hill Farm. Uh, if you want some more information about Smiling Hill Farm, I'll put some information about them uh, in, the, in the description below. I'll put the link, you can check them out. Uh, but thanks for watching, guys. Uh, just to let you know, we've got some other videos that are gonna be coming out pretty soon. Um, and these are not videos of us currently right now. We're calling them the Rewind videos. And what the Rewind videos are, are some videos that we found on the camera from a year ago when Ellie was first born. And no, I was not that dad who took the camera and brought it in the room during childbirth. I could barely, you know, hold myself up in the room and not pass out 
during that time, so I was not going to film it. Um, more power to you guys who do that. Um, so, uh, but we do have some video of Ellie, and you know, after, and uh, it was pretty cute. And our first day with Ellie going back home uh, when we lived in Chattanooga, and uh, just yeah, I think we got some Christmas video and stuff like that. So we're going to be doing some chopping up, some editing, and putting some of that video up uh, as rewind videos uh, to kind of get a, a little history on Ellie before you've seen her now. So um, also, there are a couple of videos that we put up on YouTube last year. Um, on a different YouTube channel, and I've since brought them down off of it um, and closed that channel out because we started this new one. Um, and I'm going to be re-uploading those videos. They were what we called the baby bomb videos. And we had taken a secret trip to Maine, uh, and nobody knew that we were coming up here. Ellie was only six weeks old, and a lot of family up here thought, oh no, I don't know when it's going to be when I ever get to see Ellie. And so we surprised my mom, my dad, and Shannon's family, and we got their reactions on video. So we're going to be posting those up in the next couple of weeks uh, as part of the Rewind videos. Uh, so that's about it for this trip. Ellie is playing with her new stuffed horse in the back and probably about to fall asleep. She's really tired. So we're going to go home, uh, going to get a snack, going to get a nap and uh, continue on in our daddy-daughter day. But thanks so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like on this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and also comment below. You know, we would love to hear uh, what you guys think of our videos. And also, if you're a parent and you've got kids about Ellie's age, um, or maybe maybe not, but you've just got some great ideas on places to go and things to do, let us know, comment below. Uh, we would love to hear your feedback on some different places that we can take Ellie and things that we can do when we get out and enjoy our family. And also on a side note, I know you've been waiting to find out what my weight is. Uh, for those of you who are coming along the journey with me on the weight loss challenge, and don't worry, there's no tease on this video. Uh, you'll see that clip at the very end. So um, thank you guys so much for your, your support. And uh, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Okay, let's go ahead and just get this over with. Now remember, I weighed 270 pounds back in 2008. Between August of 2008 and January of 2009, I lost 65 pounds. And over the course of the last many years, <laughs> I have gained a little, lost a little, gained a little, lost a little, but I've always gained more than I've lost. So I've been progressively moving up and uh, I've been losing the battle that I started in 2008, and I'm done losing that battle. But the way to win the battle is going to be to start living a, a better life with a better diet and more exercise. So this is going to be our starting point. I'm going to weigh myself. I'm going to let you guys know what it is, and then we're going to be doing checkups. You guys are going to be checking up on me and keeping me accountable uh, on YouTube. Okay, are we ready for this? I am actually going to reveal my weight, which for some people, this isn't a big deal. For me, this is a big deal. All right, so here we go. Got to turn the, uh, got to turn this on. All right. And here comes my weight. One pound, two pounds. Wait, that isn't going to work. Let's try it again. There's an error. I clearly don't need to lose any weight at all. Okay, ready? Step on. Wait for it. 247.4. 247.4. Okay. So, I'm at 247.4. I would love, as a starting point, here, let me fix this. As a starting point, I would really like to get back to 205, which is where I was before I started gaining the weight, but I'm going even longer. My long-term goal is to get down to like 180, 185, um, but I want to get back down to at least 200 and see, uh, you know, kind of what I look like from that point on, and then we'll take it from there. I know when I weigh 205, I could certainly 
certainly lose more weight, uh, but I looked a lot better than I do now. And I'm not, you know, for me, it's not even just looks. It's just the fact that I'm tired of not fitting in clothes. Uh, it's, it's really more of a health thing. I'd rather be healthy. You know, I have a 14 month old daughter. I want to be healthier for her. So guys, here we go. Come along this journey with me. It is the Logan Weight Loss Challenge.